After reading through the brand new 2022 Ninjago set listings a good few times now, I've actually come across something very, very strange that I think may end up being crucial to the new season of Ninjago. For today's video, I am going to assume that most of you watching have at least seen these set descriptions. The sets definitely include quite a lot of ninja minifigures, but then there's the villains. All we know of so far are a few quote-unquote orange and black snakes appearing in just a handful of the new sets. You may be asking yourself, well, why is that so strange? And my answer to that is, well, usually at this point we'd at least hear something regarding the main villain, whether it's a brief description of what he's going to look like, a quick analysis of what they look like, but this time, nope, none of that. All we know of is a few snake minifigures, no main villain, nothing. This is where my overthinking comes in. Currently, I believe that there's a small possibility of a ninja being on the main villainous team. Whether they are in charge of the villains or not, I think something fishy is 100% going on here. Otherwise, why would we know literally nothing about the main bad guy? It's a pretty major faction in any Ninjago season, which ultimately leads me to believe that either a ninja will be some form of villain, or it will be someone else that we already know of. I honestly get that sneaky suspicion that Nia could be the one to turn into some kind of villain. After all, when she merged with the sea at the end of Seabound, we got the idea that something was off with her personality. She wasn't exactly the usual Nia we'll know. She was more serious, kind of like a stranger. So hey, I mean, maybe that was a hint all this time that she was going to turn to the evil side in the next season. Her story definitely isn't done in my opinion. There's no sign of a main villain or Nia in these set descriptions, so maybe something goes wrong with Nia and she ends up becoming a villain in her new water form. Another possibility is the fact that maybe someone we already know in Ninjago will be the villain. By that, I mean, hey, it could be Ronin, the mechanic, maybe the mayor of Ninjago City. It would definitely be a stretch, but I did want to throw that out there regardless, as I think it could be a slight possibility in one way or the other. Whatever happens, please do be sure to drop your thoughts on all of this in the comment section. I would really love to hear some new and fresh thoughts regarding all of this. If you did enjoy today's video, please consider leaving a like on it. If you're new here and are interested in seeing more content similar to this one, please also consider subscribing to the channel with the notification bell turned on. With all of this being said, I will see you all in my next one.